previously. Hippowdon and Golem. Oh, what? What is this? Level 90! Level 90! Oh! Oh, God, no. Oh, I'm in trouble. And now, on with the show. Hey, everybody, it's Valkor, back with more Dark Rising. We're gonna actually start off today by getting some evolutions out of the way. Oh, handy as an item. Lostberry. Very nice. We're gonna get a couple evolutions done really quick. Have them all ready to go. Uh, the reason being, this upcoming fight we're about to have to do, which I will show you in a second, is going to be awful. It's gonna be pretty Hitler, and I don't think this fight is actually going to level him up, ironically. Did quite a bit of grinding for everybody, as you can see. Um, a few move changes. I turned off battle animations for a bit while I was grinding. Uh, I've got Flamethrower on PhD now instead of Heat Wave. I know it's like a 10, not maybe 10. It's 5 power. Actually, Faceless did level up, which is great. It's a bit less powerful than Heat Wave, but it's more accurate and more PP. So, here's Faceless evolving. Which is fantastic. About time, really. Excellent. Welcome to the team finally being useful, E-Electric. Thunderbolt. That's all I ever wanted in life, really. And it sounds like a wingle. So that's nice. And for our good friend Executive... Just gonna do this. There you go, buddy. And now Executive's evolving! Fantastic! And look at the mighty Salamence! Isn't that beautiful? And here's Fly! Which I probably can't use yet. But we'll get rid of Protect for. Because, uh, the Body Slam is fantastically- or, sorry. Zen Headbutt is, a uh, Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance. Ooh. Here's the issue. Isn't... Isn't Dragon special in this game? That's my thing. Um... I mean, it's good. It's really good. Do I want it over Body Slam? Body Slam's powerful. So the thing about Zen Headbutt is it's broken in this game. And, um... Will flinch every time. I don't- I'm gonna hate myself for this later. I think I'm gonna turn down Dragon Dance. Anyway, there's those two evolutions, and I'm still worried they might not be enough, because this guy coming up, if I remember correctly from the last time I played this hack, uh, this guy's a jerk, uh, and is extremely overpowered, kind of a cheater. So let's see how that goes. Honestly, would like Faceless and Brute Root to be a bit higher, but... Faceless looking a lot, uh, a lot more powerful already, with the Thunderbolt. Looking good. Um, let's start off with PhD, I think. Hello. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Alright. Let's go fight this fellow over here. Hey, Valk. Nice work back there in Atlantic Cave. Huh? Who are you, and how'd you know my name? The name's Dre. I'm the number one Pokemon trainer in the world. Uh, sorry, I just met the champ not long ago. You mean that Ash guy? Please, my father told me stories about this. Guy named Gene Blake defeated Ash years ago. He wasn't all that, you know. What did you just say, Gene Blake? That's my father you're talking about. I know, I know. Your father, you are father, was a pretty impressive trainer back in the day. You know where my father is. You're not too bright, are you? Your father is encountered by Darugus. This evil creature totally wrecked the world way back before we were even born. What more do you know? Let's see. I know I'm a better trainer than you. What? I'm talking about my father, you seem to know a lot about this. Hmm, let's see, I know, let's have a battle, then if you win, I'll tell you everything. Let's do this. This guy has really high levels, and 
like Max EV trained and it looks like Gary. I'm definitely right leading off a PhD here. Gavantula. Uh, not faster than- why did you Dark Wolf me? Uh, murder? I forgot to turn on battle animations, my bad. Gavantula's dead! Uh, that's really good. Really happy about that, actually. Drudagon. Okay, so here's what this is. I want Drudagon to be paralyzed. I really, really want Drudagon to be paralyzed. So that I, my Salamence can take us out. Uh, it's level 51, that's scary. Okay, Faceless, you can take a flamethrower, yeah? Oh, no problem. Okay, Drudagon's paralyzed. That's fantastic. That's really good. Now, gonna bring in the executive. Look how cool my Salamence looks, flying up in the air. You've been intimidated, which is really good. Flamethrower is gonna do, like, nothing. And you should be slow as heck now, so Dragon Pulse should take you the heck out. Oh, you lived. Oh. Ah, you're paralyzed. It doesn't matter. Don't you full restore. I hate you. I hate you very much. Executive, I'm gonna need you to crit really quick for me. Okay, that alright with you? You're faster anyway. Alright, well that's good. Embor. Don't have a lot of things for the Embor. I do have my new flying type for him, I suppose. Fly, Executive! Fly! Ooh, Blaze Kick. Yeah, that could be painful. But Salamence has a ridiculous amount of uh, physical attack. There we go. Uh, that was weird. Executive took a while to come back down there. Empoleon! Oh. Alright, Empoleon. Let's put in Brute Root. And we'll see, I guess, what this thing can do. Yay, it's asleep! That's really good. Now, drain its life away, please. Alright, excellent. And he woke up! That's not good. Go back to sleep. No! Flash cannon. That didn't hurt that bad. Now please. Go back to sleep. Thank you. And give me more of your life. And now we'll razor leaf you. Which does like nothing. Which is why we have leech seed. Alright, this thing's almost dead. I'm going to assume he also has a, um, Torterra. Which could prove troublesome, maybe. Depending on how fast it is compared to PhD. Scizor. Okay, so this could be really bad. I'm... PhD's probably not outspeeding a Scizor. I have to hope I don't get hit with a Fighting-type move. That would hurt. Oh, I'm definitely not outspeeding this thing. I'M OUTSPEEDING THE THING! Alright! Well, goodbye, Scizor! You get crippled by fire attacks, and it was a critical hit. Ah, uh, you're dead. I remember this guy being a lot worse. Superior, there it is. Alright, what can we do to this thing? Substitute. That's not nice. I'm gonna have to break that now. No use buffing myself up, then, if you're gonna just sub. You're gonna do it again. Okay, well, if this is how you want to play, I will just kill you. We can just put it. You can put substitutes up all you want, and I'll keep throwing flamethrower, and that's just how this will go. All right, you're gonna leech seed me. That's fine. Are you dead? Yes. Well, that did not go as bad as I thought it would, to be honest. That Pokemon you had, I remember. Not because. That Pokemon seems like it's my father's, but who is this guy really? And how did he get it? Oh, pretty sweet, I went easy on you. I was just testing you, you definitely bow like the Gene Blake I've heard about. What, the Dragon was my dad's? Heh. <laughs> I gotta admit, it's really cool for us to have met like this. Both the children of the coolest members of Team DR. What's Team DR? How could you not know? 
Team DR stands for Team Dark Riding. Roll credits. Consists of six members. It was originally in four until your dad joined the clique. And that gym leader dude Blitz. The gym leader near my hometown used to be a member of Team DR. Didn't I just say that? Da -da -da. My dad Barrett was the leader. He led the team into the most dangerous events ever. How come I never heard about this? So Darugus is back and captured my father because he defeated it years ago. Excuse me why your dad never told you. It's not in history books because Team DR was more of a secret group or organization. There's one of the female members. Her name's Amara. She had the diaries in an old building they once used as HQ. Maybe these diaries can show me Darugus. Maybe me and my girlfriend are headed for that place now. She went on ahead. I just stoked here to admire your work at Atlantic Cave. You could have helped out, you know. You guys were doing such a good job, I didn't want to steal the show. We're still talking. My mission is to defeat Darugus, like our parents did years ago. Along the way, we'll probably come across your old man if we keep moving. Mystic Falls is the next big city. I hear there's a big once-in-a-lifetime party going down. Well, I guess you're gonna have to go in. Me and my girlfriend will meet you outside of the place. If Darugus is targeting strong trainers, you can bet something bad is gonna happen. You're right, all right, Dre, I'll see you there. Ugh. Well, that was fun. That was all nice and well and good. Ba -da -da. So that, that went pretty well, actually. Surprisingly well. Uh, Faceless... I'm very impressed with how much stronger you got just by evolving. Which for those stats are much nicer than they were before. Pretty happy about that. I'm actually going to put Faceless up front for now, I think, because she needs some levels. If I remember, you can catch some really cool stuff in here, like Beldum and... This cave rules! Yeah, you can catch some really cool stuff in here. It's like really awesome Pokemon. Like Excadrill. Level 30 Excadrill. Run away, Faceless! You can't struggle. Is this a ditto? Is this a ditto? Not a ditto, it literally only knows struggle. Why? 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 That's really weird. That's kind of bizarre, actually. Huh. Mian Chao? Mian Fu, my apologies. Alright, oh, I should probably turn uh, battle animations back on now, huh? Yeah, let's do that. There we go. Alright, what's next? Ponyard? Ponyard's cool. Ponyard is a cool Pokemon. Next! Nianfu again. I guess I'll Thunderbolt you again. You're dead. So goodbye. What could be now? I know there's Beldum in here. Scraggy. Scraggy's cool. A lot of people like him. I've never really used a Scrafty. I already have a Dark type. I know it's really good, but hey, I'm okay. Here's Diglett's Cave, if anybody couldn't tell. I, one of the biggest complaints I have with this game is just the blatant reuse of assets. Which is really lazy in my opinion, but... Oh well. <laughs> Another Scraggy. Fine. We've gotta be getting close out of here by this point. Another Mianfu. I guess as usual, I'll Thunderbolt the Mianfus because I know I can kill him and... Oh, yeah, you're cute. Yeah, you're cute. Thanks for the little bit of damage. I appreciate it. Oh, you made me eat my bear, you jerk. Why would you do that? You're faster than me? Excuse me. I mean, I know Faceless is slow, but... This might not kill now. 
for the special defense race. Ah, so killed. Never mind. That's good. Great success. We're out of here. Now! I see you've made it far on your journey already. Professor Ivan, what are you doing here? I'm having a research in this area on what attracts rare Pokemon to come here and battle each other. Professor Ivan, I'm my father's. Yes, I know, he's indeed in great danger. Your Pokemon must grow, the strength needs to save him from what holds him captive. Professor, do you know what the Jewel of Life is? The Jewel of Life has vanished from this world many, many years ago, but I do know of someone in Mystic Falls who's been searching for it. Already done with my research, so I'll meet you in Mystic Falls. Alright, not so fast, Valk. What do you say we have a little battle? I'll promise that'll go easy on you. No, I'm not healed. He only has four Pokemon. And the first is a Leafeon. I am not as scared as I was before. Handy has an item. Don't let me forget to grab that. Although they've all been berries. Leaf Blade. Oh no. We're fine. You are not. Have a nice flamethrower. And have a rotten day. If you have a Glacier, it's gonna get flamethrowered too. I'm just saying, Professor. Level up? Yeah! PhD level 46. Great success. Snorlax! Oh dear. I'm worried now. Leech Seed the Snorlax because he's a monster. Oh god, is this gonna hurt? This is gonna, this is gonna hurt. Ah, that hurts so bad! It hurts so bad. Jesus Christ, Snorlax. Have mercy on my soul and take a nap because we all know that's what you like to do. Holy. Ugh. Snorlax, why? Why have you betrayed me? We all know you're one of my favorite Pokemon. You and Smeargle. That is doing next to nothing. But it's okay, I'm back to full health because Leaf Seed is a very good move. Just get a crit, Brute Root. That would be very much appreciated, honestly. He's still sleeping, which is good. Because if he wasn't sleeping, I'd be getting beaten, probably. Okay, it's gonna take like two more turns. One if I crit with this Razor Leaf, which I should, because it's a high critical hit ratio move. But no, no, no. Please don't have any full restores. Please. You don't need full restores. You really don't. I'm not kidding. I HATE YOU! I really do. You're a bad person. Okay, well, you're still leech seated. You know what? I'm gonna tell you, go back to bed. I'm gonna switch to somebody who can actually hit you for anything, because Brute Root's apparently just not having a good day. And I really hope you don't have another full restore to use on this thing, because that would... That make me sad. Switch out to the uh, executive. You've been intimidated, which is fantastic. I don't think Salamence naturally has Intimidate, does he? He might. Fly! We'll see how much that does. And... Lie down. Alright, well Snorlax is dead. Which is good. Because Snorlax is our beasts. They're just, they're monstrous. Bronzong! I have something for a Bronzong. I can hit it either way. Throw a nice flamethrower your way, man. Ah, oh, you lived! Why did- OH NO! That's gonna hurt.
That hurt. That really hurt. And my defense is down. Crunch! Whew! And... Oh, why? Brute Root, I need you again! This thing is also a monster. But I can completely negate its abilities with Fly. As soon as I throw it... Oh! Throw a Leech Seed onto his head. He's gonna be slacking off next turn. And then I'll fly at him. And then he won't be able to hit me. And all will be according to Kaikaku. And I really need to see what hand he has in his pouch to pick up. What did, where does he hold the... I guess in his glove tail is where he holds the items. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna fly up next turn so that you can't wreck my day. Because you're slacking, and you're pretty much a legendary. Hindered by an awful ability. Although you're using Brick Break on a flying type, so I'm not sure what you're doing. I'm not going to complain about it, though. You're loafing around. You know, I think I'm a bank that Dragon Pulse kills you next turn. I bet it will. I bet it kills. Sweet. Not bad, not bad. 1125 experience. 4000. Hooray. Remind me so much of your father. Keep all the typos. All the typos, man. Hello. I'm studying this cave, are you? And here we are on Nursery Road. And I have a Pokemon I'd like to catch here, actually. And I'm going to look for it, and I guess I'll tell you guys when I find it. I'll be right back. About dang time! So, story time. I had to go back and heal. And buy more Pokeballs, because I caught a couple other random things that I'll maybe show you later. And uh, there's a bug where Ivan fights you again if you go through the cave. Which could be really good for grinding, to be fair. But Jesus. Anyway. Found what I wanted to capture. Munchlax. I did say Snorlax is one of my favorites. And I, uh, yeah. I want this Munchlax. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, hey, look, I have a cherry berry. That was lucky, I guess. Put a leech seed on him so that I can slowly damage him over time. Oh, it'll be great. It'll, it'll just be fantastic. And then we'll have him nap. Because that's what Munchlaxes and Snorlaxes like to do. As far as I know. Do you have leftovers? <gasps> oh, that's so good! That's so good! Okay, buddy, I need your leftovers. As much as I need you, I need your leftovers. So you're gonna be caught, is what I'm telling you right now. One. Don't. I, you don't have a choice in the matter. I'm capturing you. Leftovers are invaluable. They're really helpful. Like, I'm just saying, you're gonna get caught, Munchlax. I'm just gonna keep throwing Great Balls at you. I hope you... Alright. I know you have a low catch rate, I think, but... I will wait, man. I will wait as long as I need to. Those leftovers are gonna go into Brute Root, probably. Brute Root could use them, considering Brute Root's a staller. One! Two! Ah! We'll get there. He's woken up. What are you doing? Wrecking me again? Alright. Bruh! Whatever. You are taking damage. 
I'm not gonna- I I'm gonna cry if this thing dies. Go back to sleep, Munchlax. Yes, yes. Very good, very good. I have 20 old, 20 great balls. You're, you're getting caught. Like, it's, it's happening. I have 18 left, technically, but, you know, it's fine. One, two, three! Yay! Excellent. The desperation to gulp down food it forgets about the food it has hidden under its fur. We shall call you Wario. That is what I often name my Snorlaxes. These leftovers are going right to Brute Root, sorry. That's so good. Like, seriously. And you can have an EXP share. So I have like four of them, two of them. Alright, not bad. There are a lot of actually really cool Pokemon in this route. Uh, but I think that's gonna be all for this time, guys, because I've been going for a while and my throat's kinda dying. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!